Because as soon as I say something, you wheedle it out of me. But I'm, um, I'm, I'm not in Soho now. I'm, I'm, I'm... Anyway, how are you? How's it going? How's your last but one day going? William, I want a nice, quiet wedding. Okay? Yes, I know. Yeah, good. All right. Listen, um, the boys are doing the rooms with Rick today, and, and I, I'm tied up here. I can't get over there. All right, I'll go around. Oh, will you? It was just that you know, Terence painted his room black the last time. Remember? Yep, I'll take it out. Thanks. And um, can we stay over tonight? Hmm. Afternoon. I'm looking for Mr. Benson. I'm expected. William Shawcross. Ah, oh, he stepped out, I'm afraid. Can I help? Um, I, I don't know. I'm getting married next week. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I, know, I wanted to hire one of those, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, it flies along in the aeroplane. Uh, well, uh, yeah, a plane, but uh, trading a banner, a banner with a message written on it. That's it. Yeah. Your name again, sir? William Shawcross. Oh! That's it, ladies. That's it. Well done. You're doing brilliantly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Listen, I might need to hitch this up a bit for the next one. Okay. Shall I get on the bed? Well, it's uncomfortable for you. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. You stay where you are. Don't you worry about me. Yeah. Well done. Come in. Hi. Oh. I'm uh, Dr. Havers. Oh. Just on call, so. No. Oh. <laughs> What's she doing? Can I have a word? Oh. You don't learn, do you? No, I, I'm sorry. It's I... a birthing ball, Dr. Havers. No, yes. I, I've never seen one being used before. Well, no, you have. And laughing is not the right response. Unless you like bringing out the nurse ratchet in me. No. Uh, sorry. OK. Uh, carry on. William, Tuesday's funeral. Mrs Driscoll's been on the phone, wanting to put death notices in tomorrow's Sundays. Well, it's too late. I told her that, but oh, she's in a bit of a tiz. Mm. I'll go and see her. Right. Now, come on. One last push. That's it. That's it. <laughs> girl, that's it. Yeah. Here we are. Oh, 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 Of that. N not at all. Goodbye. Mrs. Driscoll. I haven't told anyone. I haven't told anyone. He knew so many people. Um, could you call back? Do you mind? No. No, 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 please. Oh, we have to stay over. And Mrs. Driscoll, people will understand if you shut the shop for a while. No, we have to stay open. We supply the schools, and there's a delivery coming today. But maybe you need some time to yourself. I need my Gerald back. Because he was here. And now he's gone. It's well done, you know. Are you sure you've got your dates right? Yes, thank you. I've got six weeks to go. And Terence and Brendan were both late. Hey, we got the birthing centre Monday. Yeah. 
What? Oh, nothing. No, 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 that's, that's great. No, I was just thinking, you know what? I think that was my last delivery. I mean, you know, the mum was worried about me. She wasn't the first. And it was a good one. Yeah. Well, you can book all the new ones in. <laughs> you can do all the jobs no one else wants to do. <laughs> but because he was church warden, I didn't have to do any of that. But all these people, the, the Rotary Club, the Lit, the Friends of the Royal College of Music, the, the, the charities, they should all be told as well. And I can't phone them. Well, I could do that for you. Oh, could you? Could you please? Because I, because I don't know any of these people and... and Gerald's going might not mean anything to them. Well, that's not possible, Mrs Driscoll. It's just not possible. And I'll gladly do it. Oh. Well, I think most of them have telephone numbers. Um, oh, this charity's in Uganda. That's all right. Now, this one doesn't have a telephone number, and they only meet the first Saturday of each month. Let me see. It's the Lit, the Literary Society. Well, that's right near where I do choir, so I can do that one tonight. Is it Saturday today? Yes, it is. <gasps> Mrs. Driscoll, time becomes a very strange thing when we lose someone we love. That happens to all of us. And if there's anything we can do, anything at all, please don't hesitate. Thank you very much. Isn't he clever? Rick, I tell you, man, that, no, that is wicked and beyond. And that's wicked, man. Yeah, I'm quite pleased. Hello? Oh, where's my kitchen? There's still no kitchen down here. Huh? And where's the units? And where's the very expensive cooker that's supposed to be installed today? Cool, yeah? What? Oh, yeah, that is cool. That's really cool. Who is it? It's Dizzy Rascal. Who's that? You know that tune, Fix Up, Look Sharp? Oh, he's a singer. No, he's an MC, William. Oh, good. All right, go on about it. Anyway, he makes good music, not like your crap. That's <laughs> nice. Thanks very much. Thank you. Who are you having? I haven't decided yet, but... Hey, look at this, cos Rick's rigged this oh, up here. This is how it works. There you go. And I just paint it. That's wicked, isn't it? Yeah, that is wicked. That's really wicked. William, um, can I just... Uh... Oh, yeah. Where's my bloody... Get married next week. No, it's not that. It's the Tracy woman. Oh, how many does she think Mary can read? No, William, it, sorry. She brought it round here. She's got this battered beetle. She must have followed us from the flat when we picked up the boys. Bloody woman, she knows where we're going to live. I know. Well, maybe don't, um... Don't tell Mary. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Well, don't bring it up. Are you all right to take the boys back, cos I've got choir? Yeah, sure. No worries. Thanks. Sorry. No, no, no. Don't stop. It's beautiful. William, you can't actually hear this until the big day. Oh, Sorry. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, that's it. All right. Bye-bye. See Bye-bye. Same again. One, two. This one doesn't have a telephone number. It's the Lit. The, the Literary Society.
I know you, don't I? I'm not sure. Yes. No, not from here, no. But from somewhere. No, I don't think so. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, I never forget a face or a name. And I'll have that too in a tick. What line are you in? What do you do? I'm an undertaker. Oh. Oh, the hair, the makeup, the nails, not to mention the flowers. William Shawcross. Yes. You did Toby Woodruff's funeral. Yes, yes, I did. Yes, you did him proud. Oh, I said the flowers on that one. Mm. Oddy for sure. <laughs> That's for sure, not for. Oh, put it there. <laughs> Your hand, that is. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, um, I think you can help me. I'm looking for the Lit Literary Society. The lit. Oh, Lily. Lily? Lily, yes, yeah. Well, look, the Lit, right. So, the Lit. Now, the Lit is French, a bed, isn't it? So, the Lit. Lily. <laughs> They're upstairs. <laughs> well, where else should a bed be? Come on. I'll take you off. Thank you. You're into the arts, then, are you? William, behave. The arts, music. Oh, they're at it already. What is it to creep in the back? What are you doing? I'm picking it up. It's nothing broken. Just a bit of water spilt. I'll get a mop. No, I'll get it. Um, George, this is William. William's looking for the lit. Pleased to meet you, William. Yes. Are you uh, sure you're in the right place, do you think? Uh, uh, no, I don't. Uh, I've... Sorry, do you know a Gerald Driscoll? Gerald's not here yet. He should be along, though. He's very fond of Kathleen Ferrier. We did wait a while. Something's happened, hasn't it? Yes, I'm afraid it has. I'm very sorry to have to tell you that um, Gerald died last week. Oh, no. Wow. How... How he... Well, exactly? Uh, last Saturday. A brain hemorrhage, I believe. Very sudden. I'm sorry. Are you a relative? No, I'm the undertaker. So, have we missed the funeral, or...? Um... Yes, when is it? Or has it been and gone? No, no, no. Um, it's on Tuesday. Oh. Where? Where? Uh, obviously, we'd like to come. St Jude's. About 2.30. Right. All terribly upset. All really nice and ordinary, you know, once you get over the fact that they're wearing dresses. But what, what do I do, you know? Oh, what do I do? Do I tell his wife? Or shall I just say that I informed them and leave it at that? And they all want to come. It only takes one of them to turn up in a frock. Oh, God. It's not funny. Sorry, no, it's, it's not funny. It's not. Neither's our invisible bloody kitchen. How are we meant to move without a kitchen? We can't. We think we've got people moving in here next Thursday. We've got to go. I'll get on to them tomorrow. I'm only doing bookings now. Oh, yeah. The boys' rooms, what are they like? Oh, well, they're, they're quite good, actually. They've only done Brendan's, but... Have a look. I won't spoil it. It's quite clever. Mm. <sighs> oh. I mean, they're only men in dresses, but God. Didn't you say this man was a church warden? <sighs> so, why don't you go and see the vicar? And he'll know the wife. You can ask his advice. William. Yeah. I got your message. Sorry about the answer machine. Oh, no. Sunday, Sunday. Yeah. And uh, I was hoping Audrey Driscoll would be here. I must pop round. I'm actually quite glad that Mrs Driscoll isn't here. 
everyone here to the consultant on their second visit. Okay. Bye. Hi. Oh, hi, Tracy. Uh, look, I I'm a bit busy at the moment. So... Yeah, yeah, you're all right. Uh, Timmy Toppy? Yes, please. Would you like to come through? Hello. Timmy Toppy, that's such a lovely name. <laughs> That's it, in there. Yeah, give it a push. You see, I don't, I don't know, Mrs. Driscoll. I don't know. Um, I, I just, I don't know. People like the Driscolls are the backbone of a parish like this. I mean, they're dedicated, concerned, conservative. Ooh, certainly, pain in the neck sometimes. But good people, mm. intensely private. I mean, I. I detected a strong bond between the two of them. I mean, maybe, maybe Audrey knew about this. No, I don't think so. No. And is it my business to tell her, you know, if she didn't know while he was alive? Yeah, but the truth is the truth. And someone needs to tell her before she finds out herself. Yeah, I should tell her. I think she should be told, yeah. But I'm, I'm perfectly willing to no, tell her. No, 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 I, um, I... Yeah, and anyway, if, if, if you tell her, that's as good as saying... Well, that's like saying what Gerald did was wrong. Yeah. Well, it might be. No. I don't know why I say that, but... Uh, a decent man who disliked him. Well, I mean, what are you wearing? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very comfortable in this, you know. Yeah, no, I'm, I wasn't saying it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, should, uh, I should go and see her then. Thank you. Bye. 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 Goodbye, Miss Gilchrist. <laughs> Goodbye, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Can I play with that one? Bye. Excuse me. Bye. Come on, Jada. Hiya. Tracy, hi. Um, listen, I've got a room full of women to book in, yeah. so... Yeah, I'm one of them. I'm pregnant. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> well, be pleased for me. Well, I'm pleased. I'm thrilled. And, um, I wanted, I wanted you to be the first to know. Cos, um, well, you'll be looking after me again and, uh, Well, you're the best. You make me feel safe. Tracy, look at me. No, no, look at me. I, I'm going to be having my own baby soon, and, and I, I'm going to be off. I mean, I don't know how long for, but it's going to be for at least a year. Uh, this is my last day. So I, I can't look after you. Of course you can't. I, I mean, I, I, can, I can book you in. No, no, I'll... Um... Well, I'll come back, you know. Well, I'll do it with the ones who'll be here. Um, well, good luck, Mary. Thanks. And, uh, I won't send you any more books. <laughs> no, give me a chance to read the ones I've already got. <laughs> and, I, and I will. Uh, I'll have time soon. You will, yeah. Well, um, bye then. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Take care. Thank you, Christ. Come in. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Driscoll. I've been called out, so... Pick you up in the morning, yeah? Yeah, brilliant. Listen, um, Doris, um, Tracy Miller came in. Yeah, wait, she's pregnant again. Or says she is. Sorry. Hey ho, I'll see you in the morning. Have you had any luck contacting people? Uh, well, I put calls into the Rotary Club and the other charities, but um, because of the weekend. Oh, well. Were you able to go to the lit? Yes, yes, I was. Um, but that's 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 why I'm here. 
Are they coming? Only, uh, I so want there to be a good turnout. Gerald did so much for other people. Well, they did say they'd all like to come, yes. <laughs> Mrs. Driscoll, um, do you know anything about the lit? No. Well, Gerald had his interests and I have mine. We always felt it was rewarding not to do everything together. Yes. What is it? Um, it's very difficult, Mrs. Driscoll. Um, the lit is not only a focal point um, for people with interests in music and literature. Um, it's, um... <sighs> Mr. Shawcross, I'm imagining all sorts of things. Please, just say it. Very well. Bloody hell, yes. God, I keep forgetting I'm getting married next week. Well, um, just give them some uh, tea. Well, it or... seems they're just like playing. Well, uh, give them something stronger, oh. whatever jazz musicians like. Oh. As I say, I asked if she could meet these men. I suggested tomorrow lunchtime, although, of course, I don't know if that's possible. I'll call them. Well done, William. Uh, well, we don't know that yet, do we? Sorry, yeah. It's Mary. She's at the new house. It's rather urgent, apparently. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, I have to get back to Evensong. I'll call you. OK. Thanks. Hot chocolate, everyone? Hot chocolate, yeah. Hot chocolate. All for Bobby. Um, fizzy Jizzy or whatever his name is. <laughs> Dizzy Rascal. Yeah, I think he's great. Yeah. Wait to see what Terence wants them. Mum, lights. Rick. Mm. 
you're joking. That's what he wants. Oh, uh, no, he wants. Hang on. That. No! No way! What? No, he can't have it. I don't care if he is his father. That man wheedles his way into our lives enough as it is without having another bloody wall night and day. I mean, he's everywhere! Oh, yeah, Billy called round. Exactly! Exactly! Now, why did that thought occur? Because who is now getting the band gigs that never, ever happened? Reuben! Reuben, Reuben, Reuben! Well, no, actually, he just wanted to let you know that he's got two new hats for the wedding. Oh, and we're getting you such a present. Well, it's from you, not me. Yeah, great. But how are we going to tell tennis that you can't have Reuben on the wall? I'll tell, have tell him! I'll Brendan. tell him! And if that's him, I want to work with him. Hello? That man is Brendan, the bane yeah. of my life. He's up there with a the kitchen man. God, oh, I've had it with today, for God's sake. I just told a woman that her dead husband wore dresses. I bet bloody Reuben sold them to him. William, <laughs> William, it, it, it's a wind-up. What is? It's a joke. It's, it's just a joke. It's Terence's idea of a joke. I'll give him a joke. What are you going to do? Uh, I don't know. A bucket of cold water seems pretty funny right now. Hello, lady of leisure. Mm. Mm. <sighs> what are you doing? Moving on Thursday. <laughs> Getting married next week. That takes a little organisation. <laughs> Kitchen? Oh, yeah. I'll get on to it this morning. You're at the birth centre this morning. Yeah, well, I'll do it after. I'll take Doris with me, give them the heavy treatment. <laughs> Why don't you come to the birthing centre? Maybe you should, just to see it. I've got Mrs Driscoll and the cross-dressers this morning. <laughs> <coughs> it's not a bad name for a band, is it? <laughs> you want a swap? Mm. 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 I'll see you at the new house later. OK. Oh, William, will you stop singing that? You keep singing it. Sorry, I heard it on the radio. I hate it. I've had an idea about our honeymoon. I'm doing the honeymoon. And where are we going? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this then? Obviously, you can't fly. We take the Eurostar to Paris and the Jour Saint. Hmm? You like? It's a good idea. I'm doing the honeymoon. Yeah. Um, there's an aerodrome or something on the phone for you. Don't be ridiculous, the aerodrome. It must be a wrong number. No, it's Mr. Benson. He said he missed you yesterday. What does that have to do with an aerodrome? Come on, get out of here. William. I want a simple wedding, yeah? A simple one. No fun stuff. I mean it. <laughs> so, it's just touching 7 o'clock and it's your traffic news update. As usual, no surprises. The M25 is looking pretty... 
Yes, sir. Three bodies. I repeat, three bodies. Yeah. What are you going to look like walking down the aisle in that state? Aisle? I hate registry offices. Am I sure I want to do this? You don't have to. George. Audrey. William. George. George, sorry, sorry, sorry. Audrey, this is um, George Emerson, Frank and Vera Stanford and Donald and Pauline Templeton. Mrs. Driscoll, Pauline and I asked to come along because we too were once unknowing. And I am here alone because my wife still doesn't know. I'm ashamed to say. Well, well kept secret this, isn't it? Yeah, and in five years, they've lost exactly what? Zero midwives? Yes, right. You and I are going to get this for our hospital when I come back. Uh, is there any problem, me coming in and doing the delivery? Nope. Oh. Real world calls. Hello. Yeah. So, a water birth? Yeah, I'm hoping. I mean, I was on my back for the last two, but God, yeah. that was 13 years ago. Oh, in the dark ages. Yeah, dark, but very bright lights. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! Doris, what? Doris? Oh, Mary. What? Tracy, man. Tracy and her children. Mrs. Driscoll, forgive me if this offends you, but I always felt an affinity with your husband. We shared views on many things, not least the fear of telling our wives. Apology. Sorry, sorry. Would it perhaps help if I talked about why I need the lid? Why I have this need Is to... it sexual? If I speak for myself, no. And yet Mr Shawcross says you meet in a room above a known homosexual haunt. Oh, yes. So? Well, yes, but for the simple reason, Mrs. Driscoll, that the gay community don't judge us. Quite frankly, it would be hard to imagine hiring somewhere else without attracting... Are them. you homosexuals? Predominantly, no. Some, yes. Was my husband a homosexual? No, no. This is the great misunderstanding. People see us as perverse at the worst and inadequate at the best. And I do feel inadequate. I am not able to be as brave as these two and tell my wife. Did you have any idea, Mrs. Driscoll? I didn't with me. None. All I can say is this. If I couldn't occasionally have my... I don't even say dress, you see. I call them my other clothes. But without them, I don't think I could be the loving husband and father I hope I am to my wife and children. Will you excuse me a moment? Of course. Oh, my God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Thanks, Arnold. Thanks. Bye. Should we get the doctor? No. Oh, I want William. Oh, 
I want William. I need to speak to, to William. I'm trying to reach him. Oh, I'll go to the house. That's the same thing for the house. Mary, maybe you should. No, no, I, I want William. Thank you, and thank you for meeting me. With regard to the funeral, I would greatly appreciate it if you would all please come on the understanding that you wear what you wish. Thank you. Two children have been found dead, William. A Tracy Miller. For Mary. She has William. She's got William. Damn the woman. Damn her, damn her to damnation. That's not her own work either. to all of them. What should we have done? 
What should you have done, Mary? What should I have done? And all of us. Taken her in? Looked after her and the children? The children? Jodie and the baby. And the unborn baby. And I knew she was in trouble. Well, so did I. <laughs> so did we all. Anyone who ever knew her would have known it. But this community of ours it can't cope with it. It turns its back. And we're with them. We were looking the other way. And the children should have been taken away from her. But would you set that in motion, Mary? Would you really? Oh, I wish I'd known. I only know one thing. Without our families, we are nothing. And friends, friends are a bonus, but families, families. She had none. Her family hated her because she was with a, a black man and his because he was with a white woman. And Someone who takes their own life has lost contact with the ones that mean the most. And they can seemingly be in the bosom of the family, but if they're not connecting, and this is what I want to say because we all have the seeds of this in us, the self-obsessive I, that me. But when that uh, I and illness and disconnection reach extremes, and then that selfishness can take two children and an unborn child and nobody can stop it and we're all to blame. And Mary, that letter of Tracy's, it's not her own. Those are not her own thoughts. Give me hers. And you read this. There. Now, that was written in 1732. And she's changed a few words, but... I know that the taking of my children's lives will be condemned. But even if there's nothing to come, I would rather take them with me than leave them friendless in the world. You're talking about the other kids too much. 